This is a village, and this is the world's largest Minecraft house. How did I build it? Well, it's basically a replica of my house, almost one to one scale. But it was definitely not easy to build, and it came with many challenges along the way. Most difficult part? Definitely aligning the rooftops. You have to carefully measure out the center for every roof and figure out a pattern of two and three blocks together, going up and down diagonally and also in a straight line, just like this. And if you have to figure out how multiple rooftops collide with each other, like I had to do, you've got yourself in a pickle. Another thing that was tricky, easily the most tedious thing, again with the rooftops, placing all the carpets. In case you didn't notice, over all the groups of two and three blocks, there's one line of gray wool, and behind it, one to two lines of gray carpet, depending on how big the group of blocks is that they're on. But if you played Minecraft before, you would know that carpets are not particularly the easiest thing to place. And if you have to place thousands of them on a roof of a giant Minecraft house, it's pure torture. If you have to combine all the time I spent placing carpets together, it would be about seven hours of straight up placing carpets. And because I didn't want to waste my life playing Minecraft, I did it over the course of one week. Now, if you're wondering why I would go through all this trouble, we need to go back to last summer when I found myself laying in my bed and very bored. to run my room for something to do. That's when I wondered, could I make my house but in Minecraft? So the very next day, I got to work. I started with the front door and made it the scale I thought would be perfect for the house. Next, I worked off the door, building the front entrance, the porch, and the frame to the garage. I was doing great, and if I kept this up, I would only finish in a few months. But then, I stopped. School started, I was busy, and since I couldn't keep up the work in the house, I simply just lost interest. But that can't be it. I can't just stop there. Otherwise, what would be the point of this video? Well, flash forward to the beginning of this summer, I learned that I was going to be moving. I was laying in my bed, thinking about moving, and wondering how I could remember the house that I was moving out of. Then, it hit me. I suddenly remembered the giant house that I had started building the past year. I then thought to myself, this is it. This is how I'm going to remember the house. And I was so happy, I did a little dance. No, I, I didn't really do a dance. But I was still happy anyway. So I got back to work. But this was not like last time, where I had all the time in the world. This time, I actually had a deadline. The day I moved. So I worked even harder, trying to go as fast as possible without messing up. I worked and worked for two months. When the moving day finally came, I, I just wasn't done. I was so close, but not close enough. Luckily, I was able to take some pictures and also was able to look at those pictures while I kept building. But as some people might know, looking at pictures just isn't the same as being there in real life. Eventually, I did get it done though. And boy, was I proud of my creation. And that is why I'm here today to show you the world's biggest Minecraft house. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed that little montage um, that took a lot of work to make, but totally think it was worth it. Um, in case you guys were wondering, yes, there is an inside, and I am about to show you that just now. So, you guys just saw the outside just a couple seconds ago. Looks pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie, it's not that bad. But, 
Ah, I, I know you guys are dying to see the inside. So just a little disclaimer first. There's not much in the inside. There's just a, just, it, it's kind of bare. Um, but I, I did the best I could. Coming in here, there's an entryway just right here. And right off to our right, there is a guest bedroom. And it actually is a guest bedroom, but we, my family, we, we used it as the music room because my family likes music. So, yeah, and we never really had guests over because my family all lives in the, like, halfway across the United States. So, we got a little closet in here. It's just, it's, it's kind of cool because, like, I built these little life-size doors for you to walk through. It's like a door within a door, right? But anyway, let's go back out through this door. That was the guest bedroom. You can see the window it's, looks a little bit ugly, but that's the best I could do. So we can go, uh, if we turn left, and then left, take left again before the stairs, then there is our first bathroom. There are three bathrooms in this house. This is bathroom number one. And this is the smallest bathroom. So here is a toilet. I thought it, it's a little bit blocky. But I thought I did a pretty good job. But I don't think you would want to go in this bathroom because people can see through. Look, people can see you straight in here, so don't take a dump in here. But anyway, here's a little pedestal sink, and yeah, there is actually a pedestal sink in the the actual house as well. But you can see there's a little faucet, and it comes down and runs in the water, runs down the drain there. And I just broke a block. Coming out from the bathroom, there is a grand living room. And it looks like a big open space because that's exactly what it is. There are no couches, no TVs, nothing. This is just how it is. Because I didn't want to take the time to build couches and TVs. So, it's just there for now. I'm, I'm sorry. that I, I did my best. I tried my best. This house was very time consuming though. So, didn't have time to make that. But... There's right uh, coming out to the dining room area, quote unquote. Um, it, it's actually very small in the new house. It, it's not even really a dining room, but you can see there's a little porch area over here. And normally there would be a deck, but it, it, it this house was a little bit built a little bit too low. So, it, and like my backyard extends way down there. Like I don't have space for that. It's a flat world. Yeah, but there's supposed to be a like a little porch slash deck out there that you can go on, but. I just haven't made that yet. So coming over here, you can see the kitchen, the, the grand kitchen. There's a window here too and a shelf as well. But I just I can't wait to show you guys the kitchen. This is like the the best part of the house. And in case you guys were wondering, just to prove that I didn't make all this up and it's just random and I did whatever I want and it's not like almost one to one scales the house. And the inside as well. This is my kitchen in Minecraft. And this is my kitchen in real life. Yeah, pretty similar, huh? Yeah, but we got a dishwasher right there. I don't, I don't know. It looks, it looks pretty realistic. And uh, we got faucet, this um, faucet and sink right here. Uh, kind of like a soap dispenser, and I don't know. That's just how it looks like. Anyway, we got two drains on both sides. Tons of cabinet space, right? Maple cabinets. <laughs> And uh, uh, we got a stove. I thought I did a pretty good job with the top area right here. It, kinda, it actually kind of looks like a stove. The things that you turn to like light the burners, they are pretty ugly. They're just like little things sticking out. And this is not all empty. It's, it is gray concrete right there, as you can tell. It's not totally perfect. Best I could do, though. So we got a little counter space right here in the fridge. Sally doesn't open, and you can't go in it because there's nothing in it. But that's the fridge. And also we got the microwave right here. It's just, it looks pretty cool, huh? And we got a window above the sink for some light. But coming out over here, there is a closet. Closet right here, I forgot to take the torches down. That was before I had night vision. And out here, I didn't do much with the garage because I didn't want to cover the whole roof again. That would take ages and you can't use commands. But look, it's like a garage door. It seems like it can open. It's pretty cool. And there's like a little step right here that I built. But other than that, there's like nothing in the garage, and I just fell off. We're gonna go back over here from that little garage, little space where the garage and the closet is, and come around to where I said the stairs were in the beginning of the, in the, of the tour. So, going upstairs, you can see there's little there's a little view. Look at all those couches. <laughs> but anyway, 
Uh, there's like a little way to view everything and uh, you come upstairs and you see the view of the, the nice roof. This is actually how it looks in the actual house as well. So I, I can't believe it actually lined up. Like it's almost perfect. But anyway, here's, here we are coming into bathroom number two. And for some reason, this is the biggest bathroom in the house. It's just, it's just the biggest bathroom. So we got a nice bathtub right here. Uh, it just looks pretty nice. You know, there's, you turn the knob to hot or cold, right? And uh, you got a little window right here and a toilet, the same as the one downstairs, and sink and some camp space, and a, uh, a little little linen closet right there. My friend made this flower pot, it actually looks kinda nice. Coming out of the bathroom, you come to bedroom number one. So in this bedroom, this is probably like the biggest bedroom, although in, in, in real life it's not the biggest, but it, it is in Minecraft. So we got a little closet right there. The closet doors are taken off because we have like shelving and stuff. But I didn't want to put that all in. That would take ages. So we got a window. And all the, all the colors are pretty much exactly the same as they are in real life. Except for my room. This, this was my room. And my room is definitely lighter than this. But that's, this is the best I could do. So it's basically the same as the other room. It's just a little bit smaller. We got... Um, little closet space uh, like before and yeah it's just a room nothing much in here coming down this hallway we have a laundry area it's not really a laundry room because in real life the washer and dryer take up the whole space so that doesn't really do anything but you can go in the laundry room quote unquote and we got some poles there we can go straight into the master bedroom here's the master bedroom you got a nice big window just like the one in the guest bedroom and you can see uh, it was it's kind of like diagonal there's like a diagonal wall in the actual house but you know it doesn't look that great in minecraft but, you know that's the best i can do coming into the closet this is the master closet so we got some storage space right here some storage space and normally there would be like wire shelving two layers of it but I like you know can't you can't replicate that in Minecraft so nothing much in here just a closet just a closet and here is the bathroom the master bathroom which is actually smaller than the one at the top of the steps but anyway we got we still got some cabinet space basically basically the same but the other bathroom has more counter space and uh, more cabinet space as well so this one's just a little condensed but we got a bathtub which looks pretty nice except for the fact that I messed up and I did the bathtub one block too far this way. So one's in the wall and one's two out. So I, I just didn't want to fix that. I didn't want to do the whole thing again. So I just left that how it is. And again, people can see in your bathroom that, you know, like there's there's neighbors right there. So you wouldn't want to live in this Minecraft house. But anyway, that is pretty much it for the house. Hope you guys enjoyed the inside. In case you guys were wondering why this village was featured in the beginning of the video, it was because, you know, like, this is the scale of a normal Minecraft person or a villager, in this case. But, like, you can go up into these houses, like, it's just two blocks, that's how tall you are. But I wanted to show the massive scale of this house compared to, like, a normal village, like you would have in a normal Minecraft survival world. So, it's just to show the, the, the extreme scale of, of what I built in this house. This video took a very, 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 very long time to, to make. Uh, it's like, like like a year of building, right? It, it's been a long time. <laughs> if you guys really enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. That would really help me out a lot. And if you change your mind, you can always unsubscribe. You don't have to stay subscribed forever. But just one single subscriber, that would help me out a ton. Thank you for all your support. Wish you guys a happy day. Peace.